country, music and cows. You'd be forgiven for thinking that Alan and Freddie are jackaroos working on a station. But this is actually an alternative to prison, called the Campfire Jail. Here we are at a correctional facility set out on a cattle property where there are no walls, the guards don't wear uniforms and the inmates are referred to as residents. Welcome to Belunda. Well, the only fences here are to keep the cows in. There is a lot of work being done in trying to find a way of uh, limiting deaths in custody and at the same time limiting uh, uh, re-offending in, in, uh, back in society. Too many of our mob end up in prison. Once out, many unfortunately end up behind bars again. Alunda aims to stop these guys re-offending by teaching them life skills on the inside to prepare them for life on the outside. No, I've never done no, nothing like this before. So hopefully I can do it on the outside and be a bit of a cattle worker. Do a bit of vaccinating. Do a bit of, like, moving the cattle and that up a bit. Most of these guys are first-time offenders. Alan has been ordered to Belunda for six months before his official sentencing. The hope is that this place will provide the focus Alan needs to keep him out of jail. But uh, generic type uh, crimes, um, as we call it, domestic violence, uh, break and enter, uh, assault, uh, they're not uh, severe crimes, otherwise these people would be uh, in and out of jail and be very jail savvy, and uh, we may not be able to help them. Start to drench them up here now, yeah. Give them more opportunity here than in jail. So, yeah, it'll be good to see myself out in the community again and be working, they be, you know, be looking up to me, looking up to me. So they be looking down at me and that, sort of not respecting you in the way. Got a number, he yeah, tag number. Electronic. Go on, brother. 161. The Belunda philosophy is built on respect in culture and central to this principle is a resident's relationship with local elders. Because you got those who want to talk about home and want to get out and everything. But all I say is, well, look, do your time, do your time, and that time will go pretty quick. And when you get out of here, you'll be free. And we hope we don't see you back here anymore. Well, if you've got any problems, and the elders will come over and have a yarn and try to sort you out. And hopefully you don't leave the program and hopefully get by by them. And... Apart from daily physical work, Residents attend regular group meetings with elders. Anywhere, the enthusiasm uh, with the elders in uh, trying to help uh, our residents is, is uh, second to none. Um, they come into their own when they're dealing with uh, cultural issues, uh, any mentoring issues. There may be some emotional issues, so deaf in family or whatever. Can't wait to get st start painting these. This might start on Friday. Here they learn to communicate and respect each other by yarning up about their day. It's a good place where we can go over there and sit down there and have a good talk there without interruption. And, and that's what I find about that little place there. And we're going to have, an, we're going to be having barbecues there. And... A wood, a, yeah, a wood stove, not a, just a one hot plate one. We don't want that. The poles. Here they discuss everything from herding beef to cooking beef. I just throw them on the fire. <laughs> yeah, it's real good. They teaching us about cooking animals and that there. And um, hopefully we can show our black brothers and sisters what we achieved out there at Blunder. Being out here has given Alan time to paint again and to reflect on what's really important, his culture and his family. Yeah, it's calmed me down. Hopefully I can do more paintings. It's about my son and my missus there. Eh? Got something good going on. Yeah, about my family tree and that. Just, just love it. Belunda is building a sense of belonging and providing real skills to enable these men to re-enter their communities with pride and a sense of purpose. We want them to be prepared to go back out into the community. We want them to be able to cook for their family. We're trying to train them in, in uh, those life skills to get prepared for uh, going back out. I'd like to see these young men go out of here to go home to their families, be a better husband to their partners, to their children, and get a job 
and then I can stand back, and it makes me proud to be an Aboriginal. Hopefully we can show our black brothers and sisters what we achieved out there, turn my life around.